Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Jen and April here, and we're showing another Smart Spine protocol. And this is really a signature protocol for um, Smart Spine. So it's one of the most popular ones. So this is something that is easy for the teacher to do, safe for the client. Um, the teacher's not having to use a, a lot of force. So this is one that, um, that a lot of teachers who have smart spines will do um, practically with every client. Uh, now that being said, and you can do it stand alone, but it's really, really nice to do the breathing um, butterfly back or breathing into the width, filling in the spaces if someone has a prominent lateral deviation, and then do this next protocol of, of the, the breathing wave. Because in the previous ones, when we've opened up the width of the back, then we've really talked to the ribs moving on the spine. So the spine is primed to really pulsate. All right, so um, we're bringing the smart spine track right on the center of the spine. Um, so you want the, on this one, you want the seam up and you want them to feel the, the weight of the cells of the, the smart spine on um, their lamina groove, on those paraspinal muscles. And then you're going to place heel of your hand at sort of the base of the sacrum. And then the other hand is going to go through the handle and you're going to um, have the crown of their head into your fingertips. All right, and so I want April to resonate with the weight and the heat and just breathe naturally for right now, really letting the smart spine come into her tissue. And then from here, on her inhale, I want her to think about breathing into the sacrum and letting that move into her lumbar spine, thoracic spine, all the way into the crown of her head. And then when she exhales, I just want her to feel like she can still keep reaching into my fingers on the crown of her head. So what's happening here, the breathing wave actually starts from the sacrum. Because when the diaphragm goes down on the inhale and we have more intra-abdominal pressure in our pelvis, that kind of presses on the sacrum and the, the um, lumbar vertebrae to create what's called counternutation of the sacrum. And it brings the, the lumbar spine into more length, what Marie Jose calls a delumbarization of the lumbar spine. It also brings the thoracic spine in turn more length all the way up to the crown of the head. So on the inhale, that is um, biomechanically what's supposed to happen in the body. And so we're just reminding the spine at that really intrinsic level of how to open and close just in daily breathing. So again, I'm guiding her sacrum into this counter nutation and then back to nutation. So on the inhale, sacrum, like a little boat on a wave, all the way through the crown of the head, and then exhale sacrum into nutation, and on the exhale, the spinal curves deepen. Inhale, the spinal curves elongate and lengthen. Exhale, and the spinal curves deepen. And inhale, dropping the tail, really breathing the lumbar spine, and you can just Keep cycling the breath, and I'm just going to keep talking. Inhale. Good, and exhale. So what I'm noticing with April is, um, so she's an aerialist, so she's um, very mobile and used to putting her body in really big ranges of motion. And I think sometimes her lumbar spine might take the toll a little bit. So this is a really good one for her. And I want her to really bring her mind's eye to this kind of opening the cobra mouths or yawning through the cobra mouths of her lumbar spine as we do this. And really getting that idea that that tip of the sacrum back is dragging that lumbar tissue and its discs, right, into that yawning. So here we go. 
So inhale, 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 there you go. And then exhale, let it deepen and fall. Beautiful. And inhale, inhale, inhale. She takes that last sip of air to really yawn through those lumbar vertebrae. And exhale, you deepen the curves. That was beautiful. Good. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.